the Hoyon Canvas Pro isn't better than the Cintiq Pro, but I still recommend this tablet because it's such a great value and performs flawlessly. It's about the same as the XP Pen Artist Display Pro that I looked at previously. In my last video, I compared three graphics tablets. Check out that video or the short version, but in the end, I decided that the Cintiq Pro was the best tablet, but it was overpriced by around $900. So in general, I recommend the XP Pen Artist Display Pro. I got a lot of feedback on that video that mentioned Huion, Hoyon, Huion, Hoyon tablets, and curiosity got the better of me. Huion, Hoyon. I decided to purchase the newly released Hoyon Canvas Pro 16-inch 4K tablet to see how it compares to the other three. Note that there's a Canvas Pro Plus version, but the website didn't sell me that there was any meaningful difference in the tablets besides some numbers they were throwing at me, so I saved the $70 and went with a regular version. One thing I definitely want to call out, the other tablets I purchased were 24 inches. The Canvas Pro I purchased is 16 inches. I have a separate video that I'm going to be doing that will specifically address whether a 16 inch or a 24 inch tablet is better for you. So I'm going to skip that part of it. So just pretend they're all the same size. Per usual, I'm going to skip the full unboxing since I don't have all the gear to do like a really cool top-down unboxing and there's plenty of videos that do that. Instead, I'll just leave it at this. The canvas came in really simple packaging that didn't waste much plastic or extra containers. Do you ever feel like companies are trying to blackmail you into keeping their subpar products by wrapping them in really complex packaging so you can't possibly put everything back together to return it? Kind of like that one episode of The Office, if you're on my level. It's just gross. Anyways, that wasn't the case here. No stress involved in opening it. I don't know why they're be stress involved with opening a package, but I don't know. I had no stress. I stress out about a lot of things. This just wasn't one of them. At $829, this tablet was way cheaper than the $2,000 Cintiq Pro and pretty comparable in price to the $750 XP Pen Artist Display Pro 24, but I got that one on sale. The drivers were easy to install and worked without much fuss, although for some reason there's two drivers listed on the Hoyon website, so make sure you install the right one because only one of them worked for me. The tablet looks super clean on my desk because I I only needed one cable to run from the tablet to my computer. It came with this cable that splits into three different connectors at the bottom, and when I take the tablet to travel, it will be easy to plug the single USB-C cable into my laptop. The stand was simple and functional. It lets you tilt the screen at different angles if you fold it the correct way. The pen felt great on the Canvas Pro screen. There was a slight pen on monitor feel, which is the main reason it's not as good as the Cintiq Pro, which gives this pen on smooth paper feel. But had I never tried the Cintiq Pro, I would never know the difference and say that the canvas screen feels great. It felt really similar to the XP Pen Artist Display Pro screen. This is also really minor. There's a little bit of brightness change when I push the pen into the screen. This didn't affect my art quality, and I bet you never would have noticed had I not mentioned it. If you don't use a smudge guard, you might get a little sticking between your hand and the screen. I always use one, so it makes no difference to me. Plus, Hoyon gives you one in the Canvas Pro box, so no issues there. The Hoyon pen felt comfortable in my hand, and the buttons were tactile and easy to press. I didn't get any hand strain while using them. I would say this pen is close to on par with the Cintiq Pro pen and maybe a little bit better than the XP pen pen, which if you remember was my biggest complaint about that tablet. My only negative here is that the Hoyon pen is sort of curved at the bottom, which makes it difficult to see the actual nib while you're using it. This took a minute to get used to, especially when drawing where I try to be more precise with my pen strokes. The Hoyon software allowed me to customize the buttons on the pen per program which was huge for me because I'm constantly switching between Clip Studio, ZBrush, Blender, and Substance Painter. The Wacom software has this behavior, but I wasn't able to do this with the XP Pen software. Maybe I just couldn't figure this out, and if that's the case, please comment below and tell me I'm wrong. I'll happily make an amendment. Also, the Hoyon Pen tastes the best. The resolution of the Canvas Pro goes up to 4K, but as I mentioned in my previous video, 4K is a little bit too small for my eyes to really use. Especially on a 16-inch screen, the UI elements looked really tiny. Now having said that, I have been using the Canvas Pro in 4K mode to see if I can get used to it, and I sort of have, but this definitely has little to no impact on the quality of my art, so it really doesn't even matter to me. Anything that's above 1080p would work fine. I had no issues with the display, but when you compare it side by side with the Cintiq Pro, it may be 
looks a little bit dim, but you would never notice this unless you directly compared the two tablets. I love that this tablet didn't come with any buttons. I use the keyboard, so extra buttons on a tablet just take up useless space for me. Overall, I really love the Canvas Pro. I have no problem recommending this tablet. It was affordable. It felt modern. It didn't feel like a cheap option, which is what I was worried about based on the price, especially when you compare it to the way overpriced Cintiq Pro. I think it's really high quality and would fully endorse you purchasing it. In general, the Canvas Pro is about the same as the XP Pen Artist Display Pro. I liked the feel of the buttons on the Hoyon Pen a little better than the XP Pen, and I especially liked that Hoyon let me remap the buttons per program. The Canvas Pro screen maybe felt a tiny microscopic amount better Better than the artist display pro screen but we're really splitting hairs at this point and you probably would have a different opinion if you tried both prices between the xp pen and hoyon are pretty comparable so if you're trying to decide between these two brands i would tell you it really doesn't matter at all if there's some specific feature you want that's offered by only one and not the other go with that one or maybe go with whichever brand is having a sale at the moment no matter what you won't regret buying either tablet if you're gridlocked and you need me to make the decision for you, you're making me do this, I'll say go with Hoyon, but again, that's kind of a toss up. Still though, the Cintiq Pro is the best feeling tablet, but only if you're okay with a $900 markup and a $500 stand. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It uh, actually really means a lot to me. I have notifications turned on on my phone. So whenever you subscribe or leave a comment, it's like a little bright spot in my day. And no matter what I'm doing or what my wife is doing, when I get a notification, I interrupt her to tell her all about my new internet fame. So feel free to subscribe at weird times of the day. All right, that's it. Thank you. And stay tuned for the next video. It'll be even better than this one. No, the Hoyon, Huion, Huin, the Hu the Hoyon Canvas Pro. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm going to say Huion. Just forgive me for it.